in the Renaissance years or when people are looking at the crucifixion, they've got some skinny, white, Caucasian guy on a cross. Well, I've met Jesus, and he's not Caucasian. This is Hank Kuhneman, pastor, televangelist, supposed prophet of God, and absolutely obsessed with Donald Trump, views him as his God emperor, and apparently believes that he's met Jesus in person secretly. Absolutely nutty stuff, dude. Well, he's on a, God, how do I phrase this? An absolutely unhinged rampage at the moment. He has something he wants you to know, and that thing is Joe Biden is a clone. I'm dead serious, dude. This guy is close friends with Kenneth Copeland. He's not a nobody. He's a televangelist. He's got a massive church of tens of thousands of people, okay? And he's on this TV show on cable TV every week. It's called Flashpoint, owned and operated by Kenneth Copeland himself. So listen to what old Hank Kuhneman here has to say about Joe Biden or the supposed Joe Biden, the clone masquerading as Joe Biden. This is from mid-March 2023. You can build your life on sand and be woke, it'll fall. Oh my God, he's going down this whole woke is evil path. You can build your church on woke, it's going to fall. Or you can build it on the rock, which is the kingdom of God, and it'll stand no matter what happens, when. You know, that's possible that to build things on sand, I've heard. It, it's something that people can do, but personally, in my... Oh God, I can't do it. I can't do it. Let me start the sentence over. It's possible to do, but personally, when I build things, I prefer to do it on your mom. Floods, rain, egg prices, inflation, a fake administration, 46 that does not exist. 46 that does not exist, a fake administration. Oh, my God. Interesting that God said that from the very start, November 4th. This is a fake administration. God said that from the start. God told... Who? Who did he tell? Was it written down in a book? No. It came from Hank Kuhneman's mouth. God told Hank Kuhneman, supposedly, that Joe Biden is fake, that he's like a clone or something. And he's claiming it as like divine prophecy, like it belongs in a Bible book. It doesn't exist. Why would he say that? And then you got a guy, when I look at pictures, I don't know how many guys are trying to be him. Oh, you're a conspiracist. No, I'm a realist. I'm a no, you're a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> I'm a cartoonist. I can recognize when somebody doesn't look the same. First of all, you got different looking eyes, different looking head, different looking earlobes. Well, Pastor, you're, you're just one of those conspiracies. I don't read conspiracies. I don't even listen to the news. Oh, yeah, I bet. He doesn't listen to the news. Okay, well, I'm going to pick that apart in a second, but let's just keep listening. I, I can guarantee he listens to the news. I'll prove it to you in a second. Keep listening here. Listen to the news. I'm just telling you when I've seen pictures, I'm like, what are you trying to do? You're trying to pull the wool over our eyes. And I ain't buying it because I ain't deceived. That's just a side note because I had to put a little political commentary in there. Look at Revelation 13, verse 8. Oh, look him up. I even matched his signatures once. Somebody sent it to me. I'm like, I ain't the same signature. I matched Joe Biden's signature. Somebody sent me Joe Biden's signature. What? What does that even mean? Why would you match a signature that some fool sent you? Like, do we even know who this person is? Boy, some people are mad right now. No, I'm just confused. Like, he's offering no evidence for anything he's saying. It's complete nonsense, all of it. I'm just blown away that people believe this. Tens of thousands of people attend this church, okay? Dude is a multi, multi, multi-millionaire. Like a hundred millionaire, okay? And he's up here saying this nonsense. Right now. <laughs> Don't mess with my Biden. Well, no, B-Y-E-D-O-N-E, Biden. There you go. I'm not playing their game. Thank you. He is so cringy, dude. Oh, he's so cringy. I can't stand it. It's terrible. Okay, so he says he doesn't listen to the news, right? Let's just listen to the first few seconds of this one more time. You can build your life on sand and be woke. That woke thing? That didn't exist until what, with a month or two ago, max. It got super ultra mega like popular to talk about wokeism and wokeocracy and being part of 
woke and blah, 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 blah. They're obsessed with being woke. It's like how gas stoves were like this massive thing for a while where Republicans were convinced that Democrats are trying to take their gas stoves away from them. And then uh, M&Ms became a thing for a while. You guys remember that culture war issue? You guys remember when people were putting gasoline in plastic bags because they thought that like we were running out of gasoline or some other thing? God, it's just like every other day there's this ridiculous culture war issue that Republicans like just double and triple down on and and insist that, you know, the country's coming to an end because this thing is happening because M&Ms changed their shoes, their spokes candies. Their their shoes used to be high heels and now they're sneakers or because whatever i mean there are a billion because biden wants to take your gas stoves it, he never wanted to take anyone's gas stoves and right now at this moment in time it's wokeism that's all anybody is talking about now hank kunneman claims that he doesn't even watch the news or read the news or whatever nonsense the fact that he's used the word woke tells me that he does listen to the news at this moment in time this is the cultural issue that's being focused in on right now, this whole woke thing. He most definitely does pay attention to the news. It's just a flat-out, blatant, bald-faced fucking lie from Hank Kuhneman. He's just lying to your face when he says he doesn't read the news. It's a little thing, but I really feel like I need to drill this home. This is, by no stretch of the imagination, the only instance of Hank Kuhneman claiming that Joe Biden is a clone or something, whatever. Listen to this one. Mid-January 2023, he's been going on like an, an arc where he's trying to drill this into his audience, apparently. So somebody just texted me a picture of the, the guy that they say is Biden. And I'm going to be honest with you. Usually when a sentence starts with, someone sent me a picture of a guy, it doesn't end well. So I guess we'll see how this one ends of the, the guy that they say is Biden. And I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, it doesn't look, there's several pictures. It looks. This is his wife, Brenda, by the by. She is her own brand of unhinged. I may hit a couple clips from her in a little bit. She's, she's something else, dude. <laughs> They're both something else. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, it doesn't look, there's several pictures. It looks nothing like the guy that is Joe Biden. Now people say, oh, it's cosmetic surgery. I'm Looks nothing like the guy that is Joe Biden. Cosmetic surgery. There's no cosmetic surgery. What are you talking about? Why would an 80-something-year-old dude get cosmetic surgery other than Kenneth Copeland? I, I think Copeland gets cosmetic surgery, and he's like 85 or something like that. But why? Why would you... I mean, why would Biden even get cosmetic surgery? That makes no sense at all. And let's see the pictures. Show us the pictures. And show us where you got them from. Like, you can't trust anything out of this dude's mouth. Nothing. Joe Biden. Now, people say, oh, it's cosmetic surgery. I'm a cartoonist. I also, uh, I also and I'm being honest, I also uh, am a portrait artist. And I recognize features. Wow, that's so honest of him, huh? He really wants to make it clear that he's honest. He's an honest fella. Just like you, right? He's just going to be honest and tell you. He's just going to lay it on the line, not hide a thing from anybody. Just tell it how it is. And here it is. He's a portrait artist. Real shit here, okay? Real shit. We don't mess around here. We tell the truth. All right, portrait artist. Also, uh, I also, and I'm being honest, I also. So honorable of him being honest with us, huh? Portrait artist, that's tough. That's a tough thing to tell people. I also uh, am a portrait artist. You know, people, I, I know, I, I may have gone a little overboard with this joke. I'm going to take it a little further. People could have died for revealing that they were portrait artists. You know, he's putting his life on the line for us so that we know that he's honest and he's a portrait artist. That's the kind of guy he is, okay? Uh, I'm a portrait artist. And I recognize features and I can see features and what what is <coughs> I'm telling you, this is very interesting because November 4th of 2020, God said 46 doesn't exist. OK. And of course, this is like uh, 
a prophecy from God that he received in the privacy of his home. No one else was around to verify this. No way to prove that this is actually from God. No way to know that he didn't just make this right off the top of his head. No way to know any of that. But he's honest, right? We got to trust him because he's honest. So he tells us that God told him that Trump was going to win in 2020. And oh, oops. Yeah, that one kind of fell flat, I guess, right? Ouch. Uh, well, we're just going to sweep that under the rug and forget it because he's honest. He's honest. We have no reason to not trust him, right? He's such an honest guy. And for that reason, we should trust him when he says God told him. What is that? <coughs> I'm telling you, this is very interesting because November 4th of 2020, God said 46 doesn't exist. We should trust him when he says this because he's honest, right? I remember that. And I had a dream on November 4th. I was literally, I saw where they announced the election for this fake administration. And I saw what looked like the face of what we would call Joe Biden. And the, the voice of the devil spoke, in fact, his, his face changed. Remember, I said, I don't know what's going on with his face, but it wasn't him. And little, listen, something's, something's happening. I'm not, a, you say, well, that sounds like conspiracy. I don't. Yeah, a little. It does, actually. Matter of fact, I'm so glad that he's self-aware enough to, to point out the fact that this most definitely sounds like conspiracy. Are you kidding me? Uh, yes, this is conspiracy. I guess he had to get, get a jump on this right out the gate and make, you know, head it off at the pass. Make sure that he addresses the fact that this is blatantly, obviously a conspiracy theory. Can't just leave that hanging over, right? Something's happening. I'm not. A, you say, well, that sounds like conspiracy. I don't listen to any of that stuff. I don't even. I don't listen to that. I, I don't care what you listen to. I care about the fact that this is a conspiracy theory. It sounds like conspiracy. I don't listen to any of that stuff. I don't even listen to the news. I'm just looking at pictures that are sent to me. I went out and researched it myself, said, okay, typed in what? And I'm like, come on, man. Come on, man. This is so ridiculous and cringy, dude. Oh, my God, this guy. Come on, man. And, and so, for one, the, the one uh, Biden, uh, all the years, he had bluish-green eyes. Now this, this new thing has uh, brown. New thing? It's not a new person. It's not like a body double. It's a new thing. So that could mean a number of things. It could be a demon or a clone. I the possibilities are endless, right? Could be anything. New thing has uh, brown eyes. So, you know, let, let's, let's be honest. You know, I think we're being played. I, I think we're being played, yeah. It's Hank Kuhneman that's being played, right? Because he's so honest. Check this one out. Mid-March 2023. Let's establish a pattern here of the guy blatantly bald-faced lying to you and his audience. Says he's so honest, right? Let's see how honest the guy is. There was a lot of paintings that came out during the Renaissance years that a lot of people really grab a, uh, a hold of and they think that this is the way that it really was. Right. So Renaissance paintings of Jesus are famously ridiculous. They depict Jesus as a white guy when he very obviously was not. He was Middle Eastern. Here you go. A picture of Jesus right here on the right as a white guy. Weird, right? Here's another white Jesus. Huh. And another white Jesus. I mean, they, that's how they depicted the guy. He was white in the Renaissance. He had blonde hair and blue eyes right here. When he very obviously came from the Middle East, he was not white. So yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. But okay, so Hank Kuhneman, honest fella is about to give us some information here about Jesus. People really grab a, uh, a hold of and they think that this is the way that it really was. You say, well, Pastor Hank, what do you mean? Well, for example, in the Renaissance years or when people are looking at the crucifixion, they've got some skinny, white, Caucasian guy on a cross. Well, wait, is he saying Jesus was fat? Is that what he's trying to communicate? OK, Caucasian guy on a cross. Well, I've met Jesus and he's not Caucasian. Yeah. I've seen him. He's got beautiful skin. It was it was darker than mine, okay? And and Sure, sure, definitely. You met Jesus. Okay, interesting. And he was beautiful. His skin was like golden bronze. It was beautiful. 
You know what that reminds me of? I, th- I you know, I know what he's talking about right now, and I, I've seen something similar. It was um, your mom. That's who it was. <laughs> Just ridiculous on every level, dude. How do I take this seriously? How do I take this guy seriously? Anything out of his mouth. The stuff this guy says is ridiculous. Check this one out. Late October 2022. Another prime example of this guy receiving divine information from God and being honest with us about it. This is uh, directly before the 2022 midterm election took place. So it was like a week before or something like that. Let's just all begin to turn around. God, we speak and declare over the United States of America over this time that you have chosen of the midterm elections in this time in our country, in this time in our nation. Lord, as we turn, we say things shift. We say things turn to righteousness. Wow. Okay. So it sounds to me like he's prophesying, right? I mean, that's what he's doing. He's prophesying, right? He's giving us a message from God. And he's saying that God is going to make things shift and turn to righteousness. Unfortunately for Hank Kuhneman, the 2022 midterms did not go how he wanted. The Republicans lost the Senate. I mean, they should have taken the Senate. The Democrats already had it, but they lost a seat in the Senate. They lost ground in the Senate. And they only gained like four seats or what? Well, they they gained a total of like 10 seats in the House or something, but they only have like a four seat majority or something like that when they were expecting like 60 to 80 seats. They did not win by any stretch of the imagination in the 2022 midterms. And he's literally prophesying from God that things are going to go really, really good for them. I mean, how do we like square this? How do we work with what we've got here? He blatantly lied to us. He claimed God told him that Republicans would, you know, things would turn around. Republicans would take everything and it would be a huge victory in the 2022 midterms. And here we sit on the other side of it with Republicans very obviously losing terribly in the 2022 midterms. Claims he talks to God. Claims God told him that Joe Biden isn't real or that he doesn't exist or whatever other nonsense. It says he's an honest guy, and you should trust him for that reason. And here we sit listening to him lie to us once again. This should be career ending. This should be the type of thing that he never recovers from. He should hang his head in shame and walk out of that church, never show his face there again. But he's carefully curated an audience of gullible suckers who are willing to pay any amount of money to hear him tell them what they want to hear. Not the truth, not honesty, but what they want to hear. And that is, Trump is going to win. Republicans are going to win. Trump is really the president. Biden's not a real person. He's secretly a clone. Whatever other thing they uh, he can tell them to comfort them, to make them feel better about the fact that they are the extremists. They are the nutcases that are actively wrecking society. They are the ones that live in a fantasy land, a hateful, vengeful, rage-filled little fantasy land where they talk about people that they don't like and they try to find ways to destroy the government that we have right now and destroy the separation between church and state at any cost. They will pay anybody any amount of money if they're willing to tell him that, even if they know it's a lie. Keep listening to Kuhneman here. Keep listening to honest Kuhneman lie to our face. Righteousness to justice, Lord, to truth. We say things turn back to the way of a divine reset and a rebirthing of this nation once again. We bind every effort that the enemy would do to distort to deceive, to uh, lie and steal. We st- so this is a guy named Dutch Sheets. He's a fellow televangelist, and he's praying to God that they bind any effort to lie or deceive or whatever, right? Lie and steal. We say, Lord, give us angelic hosts, many of them, to go to work for us. Send Michael if you have to. Do whatever it takes oh! to stop 
any cheating, any lying, any yes. anything that the enemy would do to steal this. And now, Lord, as you hover, you release revelation. So we're asking you to hover over over this state and speak to people who are in the balance. We're asking you to hover over their mind and break deception and darkness off of them and bring light to them and turn the tide and give a sweeping victory in the state of Arizona. Yes. And we ask it in the name Amen. of Jesus. So uh, that didn't happen. What he just prayed for was Carrie Lake to win the governor position in Arizona. And she failed miserably. Kind of makes you wonder if he actually has a line to God or not, doesn't it? Kind of makes you wonder if he's just not making all this stuff up right on the spot. Honest Hank and Honest Dutch, they just making this stuff up? You know, not for nothing, but there was a uh, national day of prayer at the very beginning of COVID. There was a national day of prayer to flatten the curve, to fix the problems, to make it right, to stop the pandemic from happening. You want to know how that turned out? Turned out like this. The very beginning of the pandemic, March 15th, 2020, that's when the National Day of Prayer was. And you can see a massive spike every couple of months, every few months, COVID spiked. It got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse till we had a seven-day average of 800,000 cases at one point in November or December 2021, I think. So how did that National Day of Prayer go for everybody? How did that prayer to get Carrie Lake into the governorship in front of this audience of tens of thousands, I would say at least, honestly, millions of listeners online, how did that go? Is Carrie Lake governor? These people don't have a line to God. They never did, nor are they honest. I feel I've proven that beyond a shadow of a doubt at this point. These people lie for a living. They take advantage of people and fleece them for every penny that they own because they're willing to give them money as long as they tell them what they want to hear. And sadly for them, what they want to hear simply isn't true. These people are paying them to lie to them. Absolutely absurd. Let me know what you think about it in the comments.